In the 1930s, as much of the nation fought to recover from a devastating depression that would earn the title the Great Depression, the new Franklin Roosevelt administration sought ways not only to get Americans immediately back to work, but to use these new jobs to educate and expand culture throughout the nation through arts and libraries. Led by the First Lady, the Works Progress Administration, or the WPA, discovered an idea begun in Kentucky to teach people the power of libraries and the benefits that borrowing books would bring to their lives. May Stafford was a woman who was very, very interested in getting books into the hands of people in some of the more remote areas of Johnson County. So she came up with the idea of a pack horse library in which the librarians would, uh, would take the books to farmers living along creeks in Johnson County who didn't have easy access to come into town. She wanted folks to have access to what we, uh, to books and to be able to read, become uh, more knowledgeable. Eleanor Roosevelt's people initiated the Pack Horse Library Program. The idea was to establish a library in each county, fill it with books, and then hire women to ride off into the mountains to deliver those books. In some towns, buildings were donated by businessmen who might also offer their services and help direct the library operations. Citizens across the Commonwealth came to the aid of their fellow Kentuckians, Kentucky's PTA and library organizations sent out requests nationwide for the donation of reading materials. Crates of books arrived from around the country to fill the shelves of the newly formed libraries. The Pack Horse librarians often used their own funds to pay for shipping. For the women who would ride into the mountains, they were faced with a daunting task. It was a job with many dangers. As there were no paved roads, they rode horses and mules along mountain paths or used creek beds as highways. The children of these pack horse librarians remember the stories from their mothers, like Tina Sloan Cook, who would face the elements. In the winter, given the water that would splash up from going through creeks or rain or snow or you name it, on more than one occasion, she would come home with her feet frozen in the stirrups, and my dad would chip the ice off before she would get off. In 2019, The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek by Kim Michelle Richardson was released, extolling the strength and character of these women. These women were risking their lives to do what they were doing, to deliver books, to, to bring hope to the people of Eastern Kentucky. They got up at the crack of dawn and didn't get home till late. If their horses died suddenly, they would have to deliver those books themselves. Uh, their job was never easy. But through all the dangers, these Kentucky women proved their resilience. They did what they had to do because their goal was to get the books out there to, to everyone. And every child, they wanted every child to have a book in their hand. And they were so resilient. Uh, if, your, if your horse or your mule died, you walked. You walked those 12, 15 miles to get those books to those communities. And you carried the books, 50 to 100 pounds of books. They were not weaklings. They were strong women. They were determined women. One of the favorite stops for these riders was the one-room schoolhouse greeted by the voices and laughter of children waiting on the treasures held in the saddlebags of the book woman. The children uh, enjoyed seeing the Pack Horse librarians come because that, that was their, you know, there was no, that was their internet. Uh, you know, that was, that was uh, the way they got information for the magazines, you know, principally and the books that, that they would bring. Until the Pack Horse came, the only book I had to read was my history book, school book. And then the, when the Pack Horse Library came, it was one of the brightest spot times of my life. It was exciting because they knew they were on the foreground of something very special. 
during the midst of the, their own sickness, poverty. They were bringing hope to the people of Kentucky. I think the success of the Pack Horse Librarian Program is in the numbers. In 1936, they had eight Pack Horse Librarians. The fact that they ended up serving half, right, the eastern half of the state of Kentucky, over 200 schools, it just grew tremendously. People loved the books, people loved the program. I think it was a wild success. Hey everybody, I'm Chip Pulston and I am cherishing this Kentucky life. And if you enjoyed that story and would like to see more, click right here to see more.